good morning from the most bluebell filled woods that I know, ancient woods. So welcome. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to spend here or what I'm going to do. But as you know, I just come here. I just go places and I follow the vibe. This is one stike and I've done another video that will probably be up before this of walking along it and this this bit is the end towards which I was walking to start with before I turned around. Anyway there's something nice behind here so let's turn you around. Now people have gone in to see this. Trampling bluebells is not my idea of things that you should do. Pick your way through, yeah. Look at that beauty. It's amazing there. Okay, so basically, uh, let's turn you around, actually. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, that turned around without me trying. Yeah, so, um, I was gonna say there's nothing to see here, so. <laughs> but actually, there is, look at this. Beautiful in the sunlight. But we're walking on, I mean, this is looked after. This is managed by the old Forestry Commission. It's okay, it's not a joke. <laughs> I know Forestry Commission has become synonymous with rigid lines, no flowing nature. But, uh, you know, they... In a way, this is quite a uniform place. Uh, in case you're wondering, all the orange dots are trees that are going to be coming out. And they're going to be felled because they have ash dieback, so they're ash trees. That's basically what that is. Now, this is quite a popular wood which is why I decided to get here early <laughs> before the crowds. Not that I'm expecting crowds today. But we're going to head off up and go and visit my favourite long barrow as well. And for that reason I'm not going to tell you where I am. I'm sorry. But uh, you can always hire my services to guide you there. But I might have to make you put a blindfold on. Anyway, if you're a if you're a detective like me, you'll be able to work out where this is. Because it's not that difficult. I've given it away really, haven't I? <laughs> so one of the other reasons I come along this bit, as you can see it gets can get quite muddy. I mean I haven't I never really go and park in the main park car park. That's never, this is only the second time I've accessed this wood that way. So you can see how muddy this track gets. 
Oh, this is my favourite bit, but this is probably, arguably, the most ancient bit, isn't it? <laughs> the actual dike. But I love some of the bits at the other end of this, where it turns the corner. They really are beautiful and really worth the walk. So, as this isn't that interesting, let's... Uh, I'll see you when I'm further up. As you see with this bit, there's been some management happen here. Well, it's just been dieback, but to me, it looks like they've cleared some trees that are growing along here. Now, every once in a while, they do clear the young saplings and leave a few and leave the others. I mean, most of them are sycamore, you see, which are kind of classed as a weed, really certainly around here. Um, the other thing, if you're a keen eye, if you're a keen eye guy like I, you will probably notice that it's very, it's very mono, monarb, as they might say, is it? No, monoarb, as they might say in French. Is that right? One species of tree. I mean, it's not but mostly it's mostly beach mostly it's mostly beach as you can see by the colors and that's what pings out because you get the the tonal green of the bluebell leaves with the bluebells and then you get this light green of the young beach growth there are other trees in here but Like I say, it's mostly beach because this is chalk land and uh, sometimes I, oh, I'm feeling drawn to go down here for a bit yeah, and sometimes it can get a bit samey, you know, like nice to come here but you know, you can't spend too long here because it's it doesn't have the interest which is why I always head a little tip if you're going places just keep to the old routes because the old routes are where the ancients at Okay, a beautiful light, beautiful view, and some woman walking with her dog on the phone.
<laughs> Fuck, you know. Look at the light in here. And that lovely bit of stump. And that's just gorgeous, and it? That light, the colour. And why I get here early, as you can see, the contrast to this side, look, the dike. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> right, in case I cut it out, oh, that's beautiful. Wow. And smell in certain areas it's just oh. sometimes I could smell it you know when the wind's in the right direction because I used to park on a, a a little way away not like yeah the back entrance if you like and the smell would blow across the field and down and you'd be drawn into the woods by the scent of bluebells oh, it's so magical really is it's unmistakable and to smell this many of them is just another uh, it's another experience they have certain plants they need to get us they need to be coming up from cool like um, you know you may have noticed let's turn you around shall we you may have noticed that um, certain plants will, the scent will be noticeable at certain times of the day and not others. And usually when the pollen rises and falls is pretty much where the best scent is. Um, most of you probably know that, but you know, some of you might not. So, like early in the morning when the when the sun's just coming up, when that bit where the dew rises, that's that's probably the point. And then, um, and then later in the evening. But some some flowers, they need the heat during the day to give off their scent in the evening. So it's very hit and miss. But I notice the bluebells, they don't give off their scent until they're starting to now. Now the temperature's got up a bit. Let's go along. We're still following the one's dike. This is a bit of a really a Beltane pilgrimage. Yeah, you know, like I've said so many times. But not every year is the same. And one's dike underneath the brambles. The violin bow of ferns. Violin bow? The violin headstock of ferns. Now, the dike has fizzled out a bit here. You see the light catching those leaves. And the reason for the fizzle was because I'd gone the wrong way. <laughs> Too busy talking to you. Then you see beyond there there's a dip. I do really love this dike.
it's I suppose I've grown up with it so it's like a it's like a friend <laughs> snaking through the countryside so no one's decided to walk through there at other times of the year you can when the bluebells aren't out so Maybe one day I'll do that. But I'm not going to disturb beautiful wildflowers, even if there are thousands of them, millions. <laughs> even if there are millions of them. And that's, I'm sorry, even if there are Billions of them. That first bit is the most carpeted um, at the start, so that's why I kind of didn't do so much talking. I just let my flask clank away. Now a bit about a bit about the one Dyke. Um, no one really knows much about it. I thought it was uh, built by one, but it's not. There may have been many of them. Sorry, <laughs> home of the dad joke. You know that. And that's just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, so they thought that uh, it was, it's either a route, a boundary, but they can't seem to work out why. If you look at the um, stuff they say about it, they kind of say, I think it's, it's higher on its north side or something. But I checked it out and the bit I was on was going east to, you know, was going, sorry, yeah, the bit I was on, the higher side was on the west. So it didn't make any sense to me, especially when you've got a boundary that goes, I suppose they, they mean from north to south. So however much of a weave it does, I think I might have to show you up there really.
going to try and zoom in for you. Well, I doubt that's clear, that's like an overwhelming blue of blue, isn't it? I always now if I see a big a big footprint it's nice that there's some anemones out too yeah if I see a big dog footprint should we go this way oh but I want to go up there <laughs> oh oh they've hit me I've gone I've gone I've gone And bluebell fairies have got me. The machine is a tractor in the field. But there's birds in here I don't really recognise. They're cool. Okay. Now, you know I douse while I'm filming. I'm dowsing right now. I'm picking up on something. All my hairs are on end. And do you know what I was about to say? I think some of you do. Now that on the right, that's the south side of the one strike. That's the highest bit. So don't believe what you read on Wikipedia. I didn't just use there as my reference. Uh, someone's been trampling these. Sorry.
All right, I'm going to face forward while I talk. You want the views, don't you? <laughs> I'm sure you must do. Um, yeah, so if I see, like, we've got the mud in front of us, uh, useful you are staring forwards. Uh, and so every time I go past some big footprints, paw prints, rather, I always check that there are nails coming out. An old oak. Sorry about the aircraft. Probably a Cessna taking a long time to disappear. But there you go. So yeah, you will have noticed that when I went in there, oh, another one to go in. Oh. <laughs> wow. You will notice that I, I said I was, I do dowsing. Well, I don't deliberately do it my body just picks up on stuff I'm, a, I'm like a sensitive receiver detector uh, of subtle energies how I do it if, that, if that's your question how do you do it um, I've been doing it since I was born uh, and I have photographs to prove it But I saw the, uh, before I mentioned about the tracks, I saw some tracks and I checked that they were dog. And then I, when I went into the Wandsdyke, I, I had a, all my hair stood on end, like, you know, <laughs> like there might be uh, something else has gone through there at some point. Ah, well here's something lovely to show you, something else lovely to show you. That's greater stitch word. I get the feeling that plane's going to be flying around. So uh, I can't wait for it to go. I could be waiting ages. Now that is quite a magical southern Britain coppice scene there. I mean, the feel of that is really delicious. If I, honestly, it's delicious. It's the best way I can use to describe it. And look what we have here. Now I can pick my way through the anemones to here. to follow a bit of that and that looks like a beaver doesn't it no 
down to me that high side's on the south side, on the west. 